This video shows how to export stocks from Ship Constructor to Excel. First, open up the catalogue that you're interested in, and then within that catalogue, select the items that you want to export. So I'm going to export all of the profile stocks. Then click on the Export XML button, choose your location on disk for your XML file, and that file will be written to disk. Once the file's finished writing, a dialog box will be displayed to show you how many stocks have been exported. Then go over to Excel and then from the file menu choose open and open up the file that you've saved. The dialog box will appear asking you how you would like to open the XML file. Choose the option to use the XML source task pane and that task pane will appear on the right hand side of Excel. Inside that pane will be a tree structure and that shows you the structure of the data in the file. So if I collapse up some of these, you'll see that uh, we've got all of the different data types in Ship Constructor, much the same way as the database is structured. So in this case, I'm interested in my structure stocks that are going to appear in the uh, structure section. And then if I scroll down within structure, we'll get down to a section that says stock extrusions. So uh, we'll find that. And then we can see within stock extrusions the different properties that are available. We've got a couple of options here. We can drag that whole section of the tree into Excel to get the data into our spreadsheet. Or more likely we can just pick out the properties that we're interested in. So I want the stock name, the stock color, uh, the material grade, uh, the description and um, perhaps uh, the type of the stock. So then I can drag all of those into the spreadsheet and that creates our placeholder table and then I click the refresh button and the data is loaded from the Excel file, uh, so the XML file into this table. So as we scroll across on this table you can see all the properties of the angle and uh, other profiles are shown in there. If some of the data comes in in GUID format then you can actually put in the data for that GUID. So that one there is material grade. So I can go over to sheet two, and then in the general section of my uh, catalog, I can, uh, if I type in material, I can find it in the list. So I'll scroll down, it's a little, there it is, material grades. Um, I can decide on the data that I want. So I'm gonna pull that data over into there and refresh that. And I'll get the other properties of my material. So I'll get my GUID and then I'll get my name and grade and weight and so on for my material. So I can use the usual Excel functions to cross-reference from that back to the other data source. So that's all there is to it. That's how you can go via XML to bring any catalog data into Excel. Thanks for watching.